Assalamualaikum and welcome back to Coding with T. Today we are going to learn how to design the order screen in Flutter. So first of all, let's quickly have a look what we're going to create. Our application is running and to see the orders, let's go to the profile. And if you're new, you can watch the complete playlist in which we have already created the complete app. Link is in the description or you can get it from the right top corner. And in here, you can see over here, we have already designed the list of addresses. Also the card which currently have, I think, one item. And then today we're going to design the list of orders. As you can see, currently we have only one order. When we go to the cart, click on checkout. And in here, after the complete total, we can click on this checkout button. And the payment is now successful. This is just a dummy image. I was just testing it. So that's why you can see the image over here. Otherwise, we have this complete design. Now in the orders, you can see the new order over here. Currently, they both have the same dates. So in short, we have two orders. And this is the dark mode of uh, the order screen. So let's get started. Flutter e commerce application, and we already completed the setup process in section one of our e commerce application. And in the section two, we already designed the complete login part. And now in section three, we're about to complete the e commerce design where today we are going to design order screen. So let's get started. the project we created for our e-commerce application and in here you can see i have created another folder for the order screen in the features shop and in the orders a simple dummy order screen with a stateless widget and by default to save some time i have created dummy app bar which is t app bar a custom app bar we created if you don't want to use the custom app bar you can use your own as a text we have the name my orders and also we want to show the back arrow so make it true then we have a padding from all the sides of the screen and then we have list of orders or you can see the order list items so when you open it it's currently inside this widgets created over here which is an empty orders list so we'll use the list view to design all the list items so first instead of wrapping our widget in the list view let's design the single order so we're going to use a rounded container for that a rounded container is a simple container which have a decoration property and by default we have radius large background white and border primary all other values can be provided you can treat it as a simple container Container. Inside this container, we are going to make the show border true and also the background color will use the context for the dark mode. We can extract it and also create it over here so that we can use it later on throughout in our screen. And we can check if it is a dark mode, we'll use the background color as a dark, otherwise the light color. To see this function, it's currently using theme dot of context. Brightness is equal is equal to dark. So it will return true if it's a dark mode. Then after this container, we are going to use the child widget and to place elements inside it we are going to use the column with a list of values to place elements vertically if you see the design we have two major things in the design the inside this box we have two rows the first row contain an icon or the ship icon status of our order order date and next we have an arrow button using which if you want to show the delivery status from to you can also show that in the product order details and in the second row we have the order tag and also the shipping date on which this order will be shipped so this means that we need to create two rows so let's start with the first row with the list of items so for the first row we are going to design the icon and add some space inside this row i have added a simple icon as a first child and then i've added a size box with a width space between items to display the status and date we have to use the column with the list of values so at the top we will first display the status then we will display the date so as a first text i've added simple name processing and as a style we're going to use the body large but using the apply color we can change the color of the text but will remain using all the features of this theme for the text theme and the color is primary font style delta will be one to reduce the size so let's create another text it has a date and as a style we're going to use the headline small as column can expand so we have to write main access size as minimum to take only the required space and also we want this text to be started from the left side so our application is also running let's head to the login screen click on sign in let's go to profile and when we click on this orders for that we have to go to personalization in the settings.dart we have to look for the orders and in here like addresses we can simply paste this on tap and call order screen remove this constant save the code click on orders and currently you can see we have the rounded container currently taking all the space just because of this 
column so let's also add minimum to this column and now you can see it's taking only required space and also we need to add padding to this rounded container from all sides it will be medium medium size is 16.0 let's save it and we have the padding we have icon and two text being displayed and after this the last thing is to create the icon inside the same row so next to this column create an icon button on press is currently not taking anywhere so icon will be icon x library and size is icon small size which is 16 constant let's save it and you can see the icon right next to it so what we can do is we have to wrap this column with an expanded widget so that it can take all the maximum space first we will have the icon then all the remaining space will be taken by this expanded and at the end remaining space will be used by the icon button and you can see icon button is now pushed to the right side row one is completed next we have to duplicate this to row two now inside a main row we are going to need two rows and these rows are going to work or act like same as the one row so let me wrap it with a row so row 2 contains first row which will display the first icon then a size box then an expanded we will have the remaining text so remove this icon we don't need this anymore inside this we have a simple text with the name order and then the order id the first style is the label medium second one is the title medium let's save this and we definitely have some errors open the run and in here at the top you can see incoming width constraints are unbounded so no worries let me just quickly duplicate this row two times now we have two things we also need to change the icons So we have created two rows inside another row so definitely they will take maximum width of the screen so we have two rows this means that we will again come up with the same error width constraints will be unbounded so we have to wrap this row with a widget expanded same for the second one and when you save this you can see the results are being appeared so this expanded is taking the maximum space same this expanded is going to take the remaining space so they are equally dividing the space and also one last thing on top of this row after the first row add some space between items to add a small space and you can see our order card is ready we can shift it to the light mode to see if there is any changes required so on the light mode you can see the colors of the background color is also changed dates text color and also every color of the icon is changed so this is what exactly we wanted to create you can extract this complete rounded container into separate widget because okay, so wrap this with a list view so right click on it wrap it with a widget list view the builder and to add a separator to add space between each widget you can use the separated it is same like the builder just going to add another separator widget so first we have to wrap child with the item builder and first one is the context we don't need context and then we have the index we'll use later on on top of this we have to create the separator builder same it has separator builder same like item builder first is the context then we have the index in this case we don't even need the index then as a size box we are going to use space between item to add equal space between all the elements going to be added inside this list view and also we have to add the shrink wrap to take minimum space and very important item count will be let's say five let's save it and you can see we have five elements so make it scrollable let's add 10 elements and now you can see we can easily scroll the screen so list view builder has definitely some vital properties one of which is that it is not going to load all the attributes on the screen but only those which are visible so that's it for today's tutorial i hope you learned something new you can also download the complete code link is in the description and to get the complete playlist link you can go to the link down below in the description or from the right top corner so once again thank you for watching take care allah office